Hey everybody, it's me, Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's finally 2024, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all the 10 mobile games you should be playing this year. These are games that are either coming out and have a ton of potential, have already been out and have a large active player base, or just plain fun, man. You've probably heard about a lot of these already. I mean, who hasn't heard of the best mobile games at this point? But yeah, hope you enjoy it still. Leave a like for more mobile gaming content just like this. Subscribe and comment down below which games you're most excited for in 2024. Let's get into this. Starting things off with game number one, you already knew this was going to be on the list, Arena Breakout. Arena Breakout is by far one of the very best mobile FPS games that you can play right now in 2024. I don't know if it'll stay that way throughout the entire year because there are some really good games coming out this year, but for right now, it's at the very top. This is an extraction game, very reminiscent of Escape from Tarkov, where you spawn into the map, try to collect a ton of good loot, fight off lots of dangerous enemies, and steal all of their loot, and then try to run to the extraction point to survive. If you can extract without dying, then you get to keep everything that you found in the match. But if you die, you lose everything that you had with you, everything that you brought into the match, and then everything that you collected as well. It's a way more high-risk game compared to games like Call of Duty or PUBG Mobile, where if you die, who cares? You just respawn, and the worst that can happen is maybe screwing up your rank or your KD ratio. Arena Breakout is a way more tactical game where you have to have heightened awareness if you want to succeed. So get some headphones, download the game, and try it out. Next up, the second game you got to play in 2024 is Recurrence Co-op. I've talked about this game many times before, but in case you never heard of it, it's very similar to the game Ready or Not, but for mobile devices and for more low-end phones. This is an excellent game to play if you're trying to train your accuracy in other games like Call of Duty Mobile, Warzone Mobile, or Valorant Mobile when it comes out. You have to slowly make your way around a house or some streets in a city, either in daytime or nighttime, and try to eliminate all of the enemies without dying yourself. The key to this game is pretty much staying under the radar the entire time. If the enemies spot you, they have like laser accuracy and they're probably going to kill you from like all the way across the map. So you need to be super cautious, super accurate, and think tactically if you want to succeed. You need to rescue the hostage that's somewhere in the map, you don't know where they are, and you need to use things like flashbangs, a variety of different weapons, night vision goggles, and more in order to get the upper hand advantage over your enemies. This game is super fun and definitely worth checking out. Moving forward, the third game on our list is none other than Combat Master. Combat Master just finally released their new Battle Royale game mode called Combat Zone a few days ago, and it makes the game even better than it already is. This FPS game is so much fun, it's got movement unlike any other game I have ever played before, and it's probably the most fast-paced mobile FPS game you could possibly get on your phone. There are a lot of similarities between this game and Call of Duty and with the Battle Royale Warzone Mobile, so if you can't play Warzone Mobile or you're just not a fan of its mechanics, this might be another great alternative. And as an added bonus, this game is a lot more optimized for lower end devices. Combat Master has a wide variety of different game modes, not just Battle Royale, and there's tons of different weapons, customizability for your weapons, cosmetics, maps to play in, and so much more. It checks off pretty much all of the boxes that you need for a good mobile FPS game, and it now has a very active player base because it just got that new update. So if you're wanting a completely different experience in a shooting game in 2024, download Combat Master Mobile. Next up on our list is a game that you absolutely need to try in 2024, Bloodstrike. Bloodstrike was an experimental game by NetEase where they were just playing around with the idea of a game similar to Warzone and it ended up literally being better than Warzone Mobile. Like this game, Combat Master and Warzone Mobile are all three games people keep comparing against one another and a lot of people say Bloodstrike is the very best out of the three. It's a very well-rounded battle royale game optimized for lower end devices with great graphics, great gameplay mechanics, and so much more. You have a bunch of different strikers to choose from, each with a unique skill set and specialty, and there are tons of different weapons to choose from in every match you go into. There's dynamic weather, quite a few different vehicles to choose from, and most importantly, a very active player base, so queue times won't take very long. I think this is actually one of the very best NetEase games ever released, so if you've played some of their games like Life After, Lost Light, or Cyber Hunter before, 
and you like those games, this one is even better. Another game that will absolutely be worth your time when it finally comes out this year is Delta Force Hawk Ops. This is a game that was announced a couple of months ago to the excitement of millions of players. It's a 10 cent game that looks absolutely fantastic and truly next gen. It's got two different game modes, an extraction style mode similar to Escape from Tarkov and a battlefield style game mode. And we've already seen extensive gameplay from their extraction mode. It looks so good, and it actually seems like it's going to rival Arena Breakouts, which I know is a massive statement. We just got finished with talking about how Arena Breakout is like the best game ever right now, but Delta Force Hawk Ops might be a bit more your style. For an extraction game, it seems like it's a lot more fast-paced and more similar to a Call of Duty style extraction. If you remember DMZ mode, that's the game that I always like to compare it to, way more arcadey than a game like Escape from Tarkov. So, it might be your style, it might not, and that's perfectly fine if not. I just think this game is going to be massively popular when it's out, and I pretty much have to recommend it, you know? So yeah, that was one super big upcoming game in 2024. Another game that's most likely coming in 2024 is Valorant Mobile, and you know I gotta recommend that one. Valorant's like literally one of the biggest games ever, and the fact that it's coming for mobile devices means you know it's got a ton of potential. I want to recommend games that will have a great active player base that you'll be able to play for many years to come, and Valorant Mobile is absolutely going to be one of those games. I think it's going to be like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile, where it's going to last for years, and in the late 2020s, you're going to still be playing it, just like with PUBG and Call of Duty. A lot of people like to say Valorant is the better version of CSGO. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, but in Valorant, all your characters have their own special abilities and attacks, and it's a little bit more future oriented and it makes the game way more advanced and tactical than a standard boots on the ground military shooter. There are already a lot of games that have come out that are similar to Valorant Mobile and I have a whole video on my channel talking about all of them so you can check out that video if you want a Valorant style game to play right now on your mobile devices. Continuing on, another game that I will keep recommending till the end of time is Battle Prime. I love this game, I've always loved this game, and I don't really care if there's fewer players online now than in the past, this is still a really good game. My best description of this game is it's like the best alternative to Call of Duty Mobile that you can play right now. It's not going to be for everybody, but if you want a game that has realistic present day graphics, different characters with their own unique abilities to enhance gameplay, a wide variety of different weapons and attachments for those weapons, tons of different maps and game modes to choose from, and really solid gameplay mechanics that rival AAA games, this is the game for you. I'm going to continue pushing this game because it's also made by a smaller dev team and they really deserve the support. So many games nowadays are made by only a few companies, Tencent, NetEase, Activision, EA, Ubisoft, and don't get me wrong, all those companies make great games, but these smaller games need to get some love as well. Battle Prime is a perfect example of one of those games. But hey, we gotta move on to the next game, and the next one is absolutely something I would recommend whenever it comes back, Rainbow Six Mobile. This game isn't fully out yet, and I'm not even sure it's going to come out globally in 2024, but they're inevitably going to have some more testing stages throughout the year, and when they do, this is really something that you want to jump on. Rainbow Six Mobile is the mobile version of Rainbow Six Siege, a highly advanced, super tactical and competitive first person shooter where you have a team of attackers and defenders. One team has planted the bomb and needs to prevent the other team from defusing it. The other team obviously needs to defuse that bomb. It's again, probably one of those games that's not gonna be for everybody, but if you thought Arena Breakout, Recurrence Co-op, Valorant Mobile and Delta Force all looked cool, you're gonna really think Rainbow Six Mobile is cool. I've played this game a lot and I absolutely love the in-game mechanics. The team behind this game really has the community's interests in heart as of right now, and this game has a super promising future. Another game that has a super promising future is Warframe Mobile. This is another upcoming mobile shooting game that will hopefully be released this year if everything goes to plan. They're gearing up for an Android test very soon, so you definitely want to get in on that. If you've never heard of Warframe before, it's a free-to-play sci-fi third-person shooter that combines elements of shooting, melee, parkour, and role-playing. You play as a member of the Tenno, a race of ancient warriors who have awoken from centuries of suspended animation to find themselves at war with different factions in the origin system. 
It honestly has some of the coolest battles I've ever seen in any video game, and I am so excited we'll be able to play this game very soon on mobile devices. This is yet another one of those games that seems like it's going to last forever. Sort of like Minecraft and Fortnite, to be honest. So if you're wanting a game that you can actually play for a few years before it gets old and outdated, this would be the game for you. I personally would never start grinding a game that I thought would die out very quickly, so this is definitely something that I'm going to be playing. And finally, the last game that I would recommend everybody to download, this almost feels like a no-brainer, is Aim Lab Mobile. Do you want to improve your aim in different mobile games? This is the game that you want to download then. I personally am not that much of a fan of the training areas in any mobile game because they don't really have that much stuff in them and they're hyper-focused to that one game. Aim Lab Mobile has lots of different mini-games to play that improve all aspects of your aiming, accuracy, and reflexes. You can improve everything from precision, perception, speed, and more. And there's even the ability to customize your weapon as well as the weapon's recoil so it can mimic your favorite guns in different mobile games. There are presets for some of the more popular mobile FPS games like Call of Duty Mobile, for instance, and lots more settings customization so you can make it look and feel the same as whatever game you're playing right now. This game is so much fun. I genuinely play this over a lot of other mobile FPS games just to pass the time. I don't only use this to improve my accuracy. It's a really fun game by itself. So download it, check it out, and let me know what you think. And that's about it, guys. Those were 10 different mobile shooting games you have got to try out in 2024. Some of them are available right now and others are coming very soon. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications because I'll let you know when all of these games become available for both iOS and Android devices. Comment below which game you're most excited for in 2024. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you all in the next episode.